All right, Battle Buddies, here we go. We've got an installment of resume. That is the silver bullet when it comes to getting a job. You make the greatest resume ever. And all of a sudden, that inbox fills up from all of the places that you've applied to online, right? All 1,600 of them and no responses. Just because you're missing one thing on the resume. And I'm going to tell you what it is. It's because you're probably doing something wrong in the process. So I'm a firm believer that the resume is approximately 1% of the job seeking process here. Okay? I'm going to stick with that. If, if you have the most killer gangster resume ever and you're in a $50,000 plus uh, salary range, which is pretty typical, um, chances are your resume is, is not enough. Uh, it's going to take a ton of work to just depend on that one document. But it is still a critical component at the same time, right? So it's kind of like Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the day. Sorry, I had to dump a buddy for this. For you guys, you're that important. Um, so he said it was 75, 25, 75 percent in the kitchen, 25 percent in the gym. And we all know how hard he worked on that 25 percent, right? So that should put in perspective the challenge here in a realistic manner, okay? So if you struggle and one percent is resume, just imagine what 99 percent is, okay? So let's make this first piece as simple as possible so you can focus your effort on that other 99. Because this should be an exercise of creating, I like to call it the movie trailer. So, that being said, you got that first half of the page to make somebody go, oh, holy shit, I gotta get a hold of that dude from Battle Buddies, right? That's it. So you're gonna get two looks. You're gonna get an initial look of delete or come back. And I'll look at that here tomorrow, this afternoon, after coffee, whatever it happens to, to be, right? All right, so you get 10 seconds first pass, max. I have no patience. I, I can barely read through Twitter, okay? That's like, what, 280, 320 characters, something like that. You get it? I can't read, blah, blah, blah. 90% of the shit that's on these resumes I don't care about. What I do care about are real simple. The requirements, okay? If I've got someone that says, gotta have 10 years of this one thing. Some of these scientific jobs, gotta have a degree in this. It's understandable. Okay, what else? Okay, you are an ROI. You're, they're making a business decision based off of how you can produce. Don't let anybody lie to you and tell you that is not the case. If, if, if you're not judged on a spreadsheet, you're probably not valuable enough and you're probably pretty critical uh, when it comes to becoming more profitable by whacking you and getting rid of you. So a lot of times what happens is I get vets that come in and they get these transition uh, resumes done or they get some dude that doesn't know him at a job fair who's like, oh, okay, dude, you were an 11 Bravo, so you know how to shoot people in the face when they're bad guys. Um, we want you to protect this nuclear plant. We're going to pay you like 12 bucks if you got your concealed 14, 14 50 if you're lucky. And here you got some dude that's a sergeant major running a big organization, right? It's because they got lazy on the resume. That's usually where it starts. So, I had one here recently come to me. Dude's a badass Marine. Scout sniper. You ever meet these guys? They, they like know how to cook and eat snakes like 20 different ways. They're different. They're different. Okay? You go out and shoot with a scout sniper, you can get schooled. That simple. Okay? So I had one. Ran the school. Pretty, pretty amazing fella. So he's looking at a job where one of the components that they're looking for is safety. Okay? So dude ran the school for two years. Long time. I asked him. 
What's your safety record? 100%, what do you mean? Right? Okay, that's what I'd expect. Maybe maybe 99.9, .9, but I, I would hope 100% when you got, you know, lead things that go awfully fast through the air. All right, so I'm going to read you what he's got on his resume. Trained and knowledgeable in firearm safety and operation. Does that sound like a Marine Corps staff sergeant to you? Trained and knowledgeable in firearm safety and operation. You know what's wrong with that? That's a fucking job description. That doesn't tell me how this guy can perform. As a hire manager, I'm responsible for delivering KPIs on the regular, key performance indicators. Chances are that your previous performance is going to dictate your future performance. So if you have knowledge of safety, cool, bro. Nice story. Tell me more. Let me, let me, let me take another sip of water while you, you know, tell me this shit that I don't care about. Oh, okay. So you read a book. Sweet. Versus, I had a 100% safety background with 2,000 Marines that were unruly that came through my program. I know how to herd cats like I'm the cat whisperer. You see my point? There's a huge difference in knowledgeable versus Marines. We all got that one uncle who's a Marine who's a big pain in the ass, right? Can you imagine him at 18 years old? No, that's why he went in the Marine Corps. My point is, is your resume, if it is your, your last job, what you did there as knowledgeable, must be knowledgeable in, I don't know, cleaning. Sweet. Tell me about your, your clean percentage when the, the, the city inspector came to check your restaurant for rats and shit. 100%? I'm interested. You fail them? Eh. Or you make me think, hey, maybe this dude failed him. That's why he doesn't have, you know, has his safety certificate and proper food handling. I don't know. Don't make me think or guess or assume. Let me see the results. So I love percentages. I love dollar figures. I love successful stories. If you can't send me a resume that has some sort of challenge that you had as a, as a leader, and then a little blurb on the action you took, right? The set individual training plans for seven guys, and then show me the results that, hey, five of them got promoted after I came in and showed them how to be badass. I like that. I like that. That means you're a leader. You're not some dirty manager that sits around all day and does Excel spreadsheets that nobody gives a shit about. You're a leader. That's my point. I want to see results. The best response I had on one of my surveys this week was a guy said, I don't give a shit about 90% of what's on the resume. And if it's not relevant to doing specifically what I'm hiring for, I'm not going to read it. Meaning, these 20-page resumes, unless it's federal, that's different, it's weird, I don't deal with that, but, but keep them simple. If it says, we need someone that does these five things, your resume better have all five things, and it better have results associated with those things, or you're going to get passed over by the dude that's got that shit on there. So anyway, Enough of the rant on the resumes. Send me a resume. I'll take a look at it. I'll give you some feedback. Everybody's resume sucks. That's what I tell everybody in the first one. So don't be getting your feelings hurt when I do that, when I say that. Um, give us some feedback. Let us know what you're looking for in the future here. And like always, thanks for sending out the invites and bringing people here. Let's get these veterans the support they deserve and need. Thanks a lot, guys.